one of the best places to fish, especially here in the summer when it's really hot and the water temperature is hot and the fish are lethargic, is near some sort of defined structure. Let's get into this video. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Just setting up for a charter here and I may have a fish here. She'll be the first fish of the day. My clients are showing up in a, 10 minutes maybe. Oh yeah, we got something here. What is it? That's a pretty good whiting. There we go. Oh no. It's a catfish. And we got saltwater catfish here, guys. I will not be keeping him. This baby pompano was caught in the sand flea rake and we got him out. There he goes. Oh yeah, there he goes. Okay, so you don't want to lose tension, so you want to start reeling right away. I'll make sure the sinker is unstuck for you. Yeah, the sinker was stuck and then just start reeling away. There's fish on there. It might help if you put the butt of it on your thigh to balance it. Well, yeah. That'll give you more stability. There you go. Yep, and just reel it right in. And you won't need to jerk it or anything. It's already, circle hook's already setting it. Well, that's a good fish, it's fighting. Yep, keep reeling, keep reeling. They get lost in the wash really easily, so you wanna reel it all the way up through the wash. It's cutting to the side. Yeah. Oh, nice. That's a good fish. Whoa, look at that. Check this out, guys. That's a black drum. This is a nice black drum. Wow, look at this so, fish. Such a natural, dude. Look at this. We'll show TikTok, too. Look at that. They got to be 14 inches to keep. That's definitely 14 inches what here. What kind of fish is this that? This is called a black drum. There we go. Wow. Check that great. out, TikTok. <laughs> is that awesome? Yeah, this is a black drum. And we're gonna measure it up. It's almost 17 inches. Oh yeah. Look at that fish. Yeah. Good fish. This post here tells about this shipwreck that's out maybe 30 oh, yeah, yards yeah. beyond that. So at low tide, you can see like yeah. the the water will go around the yep. shape of the the boat. That truck just drove right under our lines. I've never seen that happen before. That's really weird. If you're going to be visiting Northeast Florida and you want an experience that you have never had before, why don't you consider booking a surf fishing charter with me, Kathy Sanders? I supply all of the bait all of the equipment, all you need to do is bring whatever you would bring to have a fun time at the beach. All the information is there at the bottom of the screen. You can go to fishing-girl.com, fill out our booking form, and let's get some dates scheduled and get you out here fishing. Nice, oh, that's another nice one. Good job. Thank you. That's awesome. This is a good morning, look at this. Beautiful, huh? This is a black drum, yeah. All right, buddy. We got two of them. That's the second one like that. Two good ones. Good job, Carissa. Do you want to hold them for a picture? Sure. Okay, so you're going to hold them underneath and then under the tail. Hold them tight. <laughs> That's okay. Black drum, man. I'll have you cast this one out when you're done. He's, he's got the right spot. I think he's been yeah. casting a lot of these. So. He goes, as soon as he got here, he goes, this is my pole. And I go, it doesn't work like that. <laughs> That's a beautiful fish. Yeah. Get that hook. Oh. I can't get it. Want me to grab it? Yeah, grab it. Mean, my fingers are slipping on it. Oh, oh. say hi. Oh, that's OK. <laughs> throw Come here, buddy. Throwing fish at me. I can see how no, it is. No, <laughs> he's got it tucked in there somehow. <laughs> throwing fish at me. I just met you, throw fish at me. <laughs> it's Sesame Street. Hey, I don't mind if people throw fish at me. No way. <laughs> yeah, you got that tucked right in like tomatoes. the side of his mouth there. Yeah, it's like really... Take it easy, buddy. We'll, we'll put 
put you back in the water with your friends. Yeah. Such a fun little party in there. Oh yeah, yeah they're, they're stuck in there. Having man. a great old time. There we go. Awesome. In the bucket. That's a pretty one. We got doubles. Double. There oh! you go. You got two oh! fish. Double. Two for one deal. There you go. <laughs> awesome. We get these. All right, we'll keep this guy. I put all the other fish in the cooler so they can stay nice and cold. So this guy will go in the bucket. Yay, I actually got him in there. I'm usually really bad at throwing. <laughs> and they land like on the other side of the bucket or something. All right, and we'll let this guy go. There we go. All right. Send the fish down there. And we're waiting for a good wave for some sand fleas. Yep, real facing up. Can you hold that a little bit higher, about head height? Straight overhead? Yep, straight overhead, yep. And that's okay. And then if we want to leave that there, did you want to cast it again or leave it there? Um, I can cast it one more time. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Nice. That was good. Okay, so before you, actually we're gonna leave this open and then just kind of hold on to the line as we walk it back. Okay. So we're gonna tighten that down, lift it straight out and start reeling. Don't let there be slack on the line. Okay. Oh, oh, we still got it. Still got it. This is the itty bitty one. Yeah. Got another spot fish. Hey, go. Go this is cool though, I never did this. Surf cast it's like it's a lot different. Totally different. I wouldn't even know how to do the setup. It's a lot of fun, yeah. So as you could see from that video, we were able to pull in some really nice black drum because we were right near a shipwreck. Maybe you don't have a shipwreck in the area, but maybe you've got jetties nearby. Maybe you've got piers or some type of structure in the water that's different from normal like beach with just the sandbars and that's going to attract other fish. Near Flagler Pier we end up catching some cool fish. Near the jetties you might be catching up on uh, redfish, lots of sea trout and lots of different fish. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it and if you are wanting to book a charter with me go ahead and visit www.fishing-girl.com. Fill out our booking form and let's get you on the schedule, get you out there fishing. Thanks for watching. See you later. One of the best places to fish, especially here in the summer when fish can be a little lethargic and fishing can be blah. One of the best places to fish, especially in the summer when the fish can be kind of lethargic, is near some type of find piggy. I got my dog here because she'll just walk around and her toes make all that noise. So um, now she just wants to bark out the window. Different fish than just whiting and pompano and croakers and spotfish and catfish, bluefish, ladyfish, Jack Creval, stingrays, sharks.